Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Every D Life. It's your girl D, and I'm back with another challenge. Okay, so I got this challenge idea from one of my subscribers. Her name was, or is, Latrice Honeycutt. Um, she suggested that I try the three-day egg fast. And I was like, okay, you know, challenge accepted, let's go. So I Googled the three-day egg fast and a lot of stuff popped up, but I ended up um, choosing this one particular um, plan. And basically it's real simple. You just eat eggs. You can have them um, fried, scrambled, or boiled. Um, you could have like butter and cheese. And also for, as far as the drinks go, you can have um, diet, a diet drink, um, coffee, or green tea. And, like, you got to drink plenty of water and no alcohol. So, I was like, okay, I can handle that. And I'm expected to lose anywhere between 5 to 10 pounds in these three days. So, you know, if I'm losing weight, that's always good in my book. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let me go ahead and start with the weigh-in and the before pictures. Let's go. all right y'all so this is the egg fast rules that i used you guys can go ahead and screenshot it right now all right y'all so let's get into these before and after pictures first let's whip the belly out Okay, let's do this weigh-in. Now, as you guys know, I got down to 204 with my last challenge, the watermelon detox. I've been eating kind of good, so we're going to see how much weight I picked up. Two eleven point four, So, roughly like 7 pounds. Which is not bad because I lost 18 pounds. So, I'm not too upset about that. Alright, so let's get it. We're going to see. Three day egg fast. Let's go. My starting weight was 211.4. Um, the night before, I decided to go ahead and boil my eggs. Because I had to work the next day and I was trying to be prepared. Um, for breakfast, I added some pickles. Because pickles have zero calories. I was trying to spruce it up a little bit. Have a little egg or derb or however you say it. And how about when I get to work, we had a supervisor meeting and they had food for us to eat. I didn't eat any, of course, but it's always when I do these challenges is when they bring the food. But um, I didn't get to work out that day. I just, you know, walked raving. Me and my husband had to go to his mother's house because she had surgery the next morning. So I ended up weighing myself on her scale and I was down... 1.8 pounds for day one day two we spent most of the time in the hospital but we did go for brunch at this diner down the street and i got like a spinach egg omelet and my husband he got pancakes bacon sausage potatoes and i just got this omelet whoop de doo so when i got back to my mother-in-law house i was hungry so i said let me make some um eggs i tried to spruce them up i put some paprika salt pepper cheese and this little um sauce and it was very 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 nasty i mean it was actually disgusting it tasted like hot garbage i mean i felt like i was on the episode of fear factor and i'm like where did i go wrong and it was this nasty hot pepper sauce very hot and very nasty but i decided to go to the gym to get my little workout in you know what i'm saying I had to get my calorie burn going um, I did the elliptical, and I also did um, some weights. I didn't get a video of the weights, but I was... You got to do weights, too, to get your body right. All right? So, my day two weigh-in, I was down 4.6 pounds. I'm losing weight slowly but surely. Okay, so at this point, I'm done with boiled eggs. I just can't do it. So, I decided to scramble my eggs. Um, add a little cheese, a little butter, a little salt, a little pepper. And then I tried to, you know, spice things up with some Texas peat. But that didn't really help. I'm just, like, really sick of these eggs at this point. They almost, like, turning my stomach. Um, I decided to drink some green tea. 
because these eggs are really messing with my stomach. I don't know what it is, but it's just not sitting well in my spirit. But yeah, I tried to drink some tea to calm my nerves. And, um, you know, we went back to the hospital. Um, it could only be two people in the room, so I had to kind of wait in the waiting room area. And I was just sitting there looking hungry as usual. How about when we leave the hospital, my husband go to one of my favorite restaurants. It's this um, Jamaican restaurant. And he order my favorite foods. He get beef patties. He get some curry chicken. And he also got some jerk chicken. And it smelled so good. I tried not to eat it, but... A few moments later. Yeah, your girl gave me the temptation. I just couldn't help it. I mean, R. Kelly said it best when he was like, my mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yes. Like, I understand where he was coming from because I wanted to do good, but it was just, oh my goodness, that stuff was delicious. I mean, I messed up. I messed up. But, you know, I tried. I really did, y'all. Hey y'all. Oh yes, okay guys. So I was unable to complete the three day egg fast, okay? Um, it was more like a two and a half day egg fast for me. Um, I gave in to temptation. I gave in to temptation, that's what it was. I mean, I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all would've smelled that curry chicken, if y'all would've smelled that jerk chicken and those two luscious beef patties, Y'all probably would have done the same thing. I mean, and I regret I did it, but then again, I kind of don't because those beef patties and those curry chicken and stuff, that stuff was delicious, okay? And y'all don't understand how much those eggs was turning my stomach. I mean, them eggs, I ain't trying to make no excuse or nothing because, you know, I messed up. It is what it is, but those eggs was nasty. Like, they taste like somebody's stank breath. They just was nasty. I couldn't do it. They was turning my stomach. And the, the crazy thing is, I liked eggs going into this challenge. But now, you ask me to take some eggs? Hmm. Forget about it. And then, them boiled eggs? Ooh. Them boiled eggs? Oh, my. Disgusting. I mean, I can't eat eggs no more, y'all. It's over. It's in the same boat as mayonnaise. Because I don't like mayonnaise, y'all. Or pimento cheese. Ooh, pimento cheese. Ooh. You can't even say the minute cheese around me. Yeah, but anywho, eggs is in that same boat with mayonnaise and pimento cheese. I can't do it. If I was to get some shrimp fried rice and it had some eggs in it, I would have to pick that, that out. I don't know, but it, it's... I like the eggs, but now I don't. This fast has really opened my eyes. But yeah, y'all, I'm sorry I wasn't able to complete the journey because I wanted to be able to finish it and have some banging results, but I guess it wasn't in the cards for me this time. But the next challenge I do, y'all, I'm going to crush it, okay? I'm going to kill it and I'm going to have the best results ever. But this time, it, it just didn't happen. And I started not to post this video, but I'm just like, I can't show you guys just all the positive videos. Like, you know, Life is a struggle. Life is full of ups and downs. So I'm going to show y'all, you know, me struggling because that's what it was. And this is just nothing but a setback for a major comeback. So I already seen the next challenge I'm going to do. So you guys stay tuned, okay? And I've already said I'm not going to post my after pictures on this video because it's probably going to look identical to my before pictures because I really haven't lost that much weight. So I, I will post my final way, my final way in and that's about it. And then y'all going to have to catch me on the next challenge when I have laser focus. But this challenge, the egg challenge, it got the best of me this time, guys. My day three weigh in, I gained one pound, which means I only lost 3.6 pounds with this egg fast. Down, down, down. Guys, my next challenge, I promise I will do better. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.